So, the Swiss flag. This is in Bern. The joining. Important hotel next to the Swiss Parliament. There it is. That's it. Isis all over. Well, that's not obviously. The world in the hand. This is where they dominate the world. Yeah, all the Swiss cantons here. Weird stuff, eh? And uh, yeah. So here in Bern, this is the Aare, the river, which is finally going into the uh, into the Rhine. So another another time the joining there, Acacia. It's all gold. I suppose it's real gold, they got lots of it. And this is not a Christian cross, this is the Swiss cross. The Templars cross it is. Yeah. And on the other side as well, it's all gold. And the joining, the Freemasonry joining. Yeah. Yeah, so here we are again. The Swiss Parliament in Bern. This is where they masterminded the Holocaust. This is where they mastermind the domination of the world. Uh, the sucking out of the US economy by Swiss banks. Um, all the dictators, they have the money on the on the banks, you know, the USB, like the United Swiss Banksters, or I can also call them USA Usama Bank, Switzerland. Um, yeah, I mean, Gaddafi couldn't be Gaddafi, he couldn't do his things without the Swiss banks and without Switzerland. The same thing for uh, Saddam Hussein, Adolf Hitler, uh, Mubarak and all the other dictators. They had billions and billions here in Switzerland with which they bought the arms and uh, to control the people. Some people talk about, about uh, Gaddafi like uh, he was a good person. For the others he was very very bad. How is this possible? Well I tell you why. This is what dictators always do. They give one part of the population everything, good health care. They put them like in the military, in the police, you know, give them everything, education, schools, university. And the other part is being terrorized. So by this difference, it's much easier to rule, you know, by divide and rule. Divide et impera. Uh, Mr. Hitler did the same thing. The English always did this in the colonies, you know, to just create a difference within a people and then set them up and play them out against each other. So this is why some people say, well, Gaddafi was a swell guy. He brought water and, you know, he gave oil, health care, free health care. And for the others, he was a beast. And this is uh, run you Swiss criminal. Okay, we we'll get you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I want to say, you know, this is where the Nazis are in the, in the Swiss parliament. And I want to say to all, to all the other Nazis around, you know, it's, it's, it's really, uh, it, it's getting more and more. If you look at YouTube, if you look at the internet, it's more and more. And they pretend to be the protectors of a white Europe. So wait a minute, the protectors of a white Europe? Didn't the Nazis bomb white Europe into a hell? Like, you know, uh, neutral countries like Belgium, 
Luxembourg, Holland, Denmark, Norway, um, Czechoslovakia, Poland. Then they bomb uh, with the, the Condor Legion, uh, Spain, uh, Guernica, the Basque people who are white as well. Bombs, you know, German Nazi bombs on white children's rooms. Why did they do it? Uh, they, I mean, Uradur sur Glane, they killed uh, hundreds of people there. They terrorized the white population of the whole of Europe. They put them in concentration camps. Uh, they, they, they bombed Warsaw to hell. I mean, what did the Luxembourg people do to deserve this? What did the Polish people do to deserve this? The Danish, the Norwegians, the Widges, yeah? Uh, the Basque people, the Spanish people, the, the Dutch, the, the Belgians. What did they do to deserve it? They, they, they never did anything against Germany and Switzerland. Nothing. Not even a bad word. They didn't bomb Dresden or, or, or Hamburg or Berlin. No. These were neutral uh, countries. And... Uh, So what did they do? What did they do to deserve this? You Nazis, what, why, why did you stab Europe in the back? Did she deserve it? You stabbed her in the back again and again and again. So in 1945 she couldn't defend herself anymore against mass immigration. So don't listen to the Swiss Nazi party, the SVP, who says we want to stop mass immigration. Well they did it. I mean the Swiss banks, they... they, they collaborated with Mr. Hitler and they stabbed Europe. They stabbed her in the back and again and again and again. So she couldn't defend herself anymore. So the Nazis and the SVP are not the defenders of a white Europe. They destroyed the white Europe. So cut out the theater, you know, to see the truth. You dis destroyed the white Europe. Why did you drop bombs on white European children's rooms. Why did you do this? Why do you hate Europe so much? You are not the defenders of Europe. And the neo-Nazis on the YouTube, you are not the defenders of Europe. You destroyed Europe and I want to know why. Well the answer, you're looking at the answer, why? The Swiss masterminded the Second World War because there were so many people who had lots of money, millions, billions here on Swiss banks and they wanted to get it. So why, how do you get it? Why well, you kill them? So they don't come, up, come again and pick up the money. They murdered the Jews. That, that, this is the reason for which they murdered the Jews actually. The Swiss. There's a Latin saying, you know, es fecit cui prodes. It means the one who profits he did it. Well, they did it. And they did 9-11 as well. For the same, the same old Swiss reasons. And you can see this, you know. Uh, the First World War, the Second World War. By miracle, the Swiss were not in it, you know. We already have to put a question mark here. The Thirty Year War, well, they were not in it either. And that was from 1618 to 1648. And, um, but they were in it, like uh, uh, over 100,000 Swiss mercenaries, they murdered and killed uh, hundred, uh, millions of Germans. Whole towns disappeared, especially in Alsace. You know, 95% of the population, 95% of the population was uh, exterminated. And then the Swiss um, mercenaries, they, they told their fellow countrymen in the Berner Oberland and they all came down to Elsass. And uh, um, so that was from 1618 to 1648. And actually this is the reason why the Alsatians, they don't like the Germans and they don't like the French. Well, they're Swiss. And uh, like in Mulhouse, they even talk with a, uh, like, a like, in, like in Basel. They talk Swiss German. They are the Alemannic people. Actually, there are two German 
dialect in France in uh, Lorraine, Lothringen, they talk Frankish, a Frank dialect of the Frank people, like France. The, the, the name France is, it comes from the Frank people, actually. And in Alsace, they um, they talk Alemannic, as in Switzerland. And uh, so after the Thirty Year War, whole towns disappeared, and uh, then the Swiss they occupied the south of Germany as well. And this is how they infiltrated Germany, and that was the end of Germany. Uh, actually, the Germans were saved by the uh, by the Dutch because the Dutch they sank the whole uh, the the Spanish armadas, who brought gold from the Incas and the Maya, so they couldn't um, pay out the uh, the mercenaries anymore, and that was the end of the uh, the Thirty Year War. And four years later, this is how four years later my country, South Africa, could be founded in 1652 with uh, Jan van Riebeek. So, um, yeah, this is all a result. And then the Germans, they were not so uh, thankful later on in 1940 when they bombed Rotterdam and they, uh, thousands of children died, you know. And they bombed Warsaw and they bombed Coventry and they bombed London, they bombed Antwerp, uh, Madrid in the 30s, you know. Why did you do this? And then the Swiss mercenaries, after the Thirty Year War, they took over, they infiltrated the south of Germany. Listen carefully. And this is the reason why Nazism, it came from the south of Germany, from Nuremberg, from München, from Munich. The Berlin people, uh, ich bin ein Berliner, they were against Hitler, but they didn't have a chance, you know. It all came from the south, as it is coming from the south now, from Switzerland. All the uh, anti-Semitic and racist things uh, on YouTube and on the internet. And we got names here in Switzerland of um, revisionist people, Holocaust deniers. We got the names and the addresses. So please, somebody contact me so we can get, we can get them. It's all coming from Switzerland. And the SVP are the heroes now because they have such a success with, with this parliament here. Well, I tell you, the devil is living here. Well, that's for sure. And with this place here, they destroyed Europe. And now they pretend to be the defenders of Europe. Well, they're not. They destroyed Europe for good. And I think it's for good. Yeah. Um, yeah, like the name in French, you call Alsace. It's called Alsace, and the name Alsace, it's um, it's coming from the word Al Suisse. So uh, les Alsaciens, it means all Switzerland, Al Suisse. <laughs> they are from Switzerland. And they had hundreds of thousand in the SS. I think two or three hundred thousand Alsatians were in the SS murdering and in Auschwitz. I, I even met a bloke, he was from Alsace uh, in 2003, he was 84 years. And he said he was, in, uh, he was in the SS in Auschwitz. And he told me it really all happened and I believe him. I know how the Swiss are. And he told me like 350 years ago, his ancestors came from Switzerland, and I met more people, even in the north of Alsace. Uh, yeah. So. So yeah, I mean the destruction of Europe. They can't blame it on the niggers or on the Muslims because because there were not there weren't any. I mean, uh, there was a time when there were no, it was all white. So, um, first of all, we have to say that the whites destroyed the whites. The whites destroyed Europe. And then we have to conclude which whites. Well, you're looking at them. 
and um, so I mean SVP Nazi party don't play don't blame the niggers on the Muslim on this the Swiss always blame the others for things they did you know they always do this like uh, Yeah, so now um, there's a lot of good people on the internet who, 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 who have a lot of questions and they need a lot of answers. And they call themselves info warriors. But with this sick uh, Nazi propaganda in a very smart way, under the surface, which is being introduced from out of Switzerland, from very, very clever people, in here as well and from the Nazi SVP party uh, they, they give these people answers which are no, not true and this is the way that um, um, good people who are info warriors are being, um, are being turned around into Nazis and I'll give you the reason for this as well uh, so please, Mr. Obama, after Iraq and after, after your boys having Christmas, please send them over here and get your tax money back and, Ob and uh, Gaddafi's money and Adolf's money as well, as you're over here already. And uh, well, take Saddam's as well. So. Um, Yeah, and they, and they they call it here the uh, the Swiss Parliament or the Bundeshaus. The Bund it means the uh, the covenant or the pact, you know. Uh, the Templars' covenant. This is the Bund. What do you want? Um, so here, all the laws against foreigners and all the racist laws are being made here in the Parliament. Yeah, so now I'm going to tell you why and how these very smart Swiss, so don't underestimate them when they're smiling through their teeth to you, how they do it, how they turn around people in the internet, how they turn them into Nazis, and they do it. I'll tell you, thousands. It's really, it, it, it's hard to believe, but there are thousands of good people info warriors who are looking for questions and for honesty for all the crimes which are being done you know in history throughout history and um, yeah i'm gonna tell you why the um, in here in switzerland they never had uh, um, freedom of speech this is uh, one of the oldest dictatorships in the world and they're very smart, you know. Like in a chess play, you should think like 10 moves ahead. And sometimes by, uh, by making a law which seems to be uh, in favor of a, uh, of a humane thing, well, it isn't. If you look like 10 moves ahead, it comes out something else. So, I'm going to tell you why and how they do this. So because of the real Nazis, they are here in the parliament, you know, and they need young, normal and neutral people to become this as well. Run, you Swiss criminal. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, when freedom of speech costs your freedom, they always want to listen. Europe the US and the international community should call a halt to the success duo Switzerland-Germany Germany immediately before these two will sink Europe once again into war, racism and anti-semitism. Anti Liberty of speech should be reinstalled as fast as possible in these two countries because as a matter of fact the justice departments of both countries contribute most to racism. The end and the destruction of the freedom of expression confirm young nationalists 
and all the Nazis of these circles in their convictions that it is a certain ethnical minority that has all, the, all powers in the world, that even in their own country they can bend the first of human rights into their own advantage and having all powers to have eradicated freedom of speech by extreme cunning ways and means both countries try to follow their old perspective and this time by delegating their justice departments within the framework of a devilish tactics with unrevealed strategical objectives. As comparative and parallel to it, a bad chess play only thinks one move ahead and thus loses. So sly heads of these two criminal nations think ten moves ahead in the deep. And deep it is, while showing the international community, please look how our Justice Department act against Nazis and racism and put anybody who dares to open his mouth about it for a long time in prison. Well, deceptive appearance it is, while the real man of the concept and well hidden behind the screens laugh and celebrate how stupid and good believing Europe and the world are. The justice authorities of both these countries are to be sued and put in front of an international court because these countries again and in such a concealed way augment racism, hatred between peoples and anti-Semitism and are momentarily responsible for considering growth rates of nationalist memberships. It goes around like a scorching fire. Look how much power they have, even the liberty of speech, these pigs have taken us while corrupting our human rights and thus youngsters massively are being driven into the arms of Nazi parties. Consciously, Nazis and the justice departments of both countries are thus recruiting the next generation through the best of all publicity by offering this ultimate proof, motive and total hatred for the next goddamn holocaust. One part of the population becomes a convinced Nazi by this sly strategy of the justice authorities Nazis while the populations rest at least things the whole thing to be highly suspect that an ethnic minority can influence so much creating the seeds and potential for more weren't human rights and the liberty of speech conceived because people get very angry when thrown in the slammer only for saying things that others who dictate put under punishment do we want them to prepare more misery in all secrecy and give them their martyrs in prison because, in spite of the liberty of speech? And this is what the Nazis of the Justice Departments of Switzerland and Germany are very well aware of. And the four Nazis welcome consequences. All are getting part of it and being drawn in under pretext of stopping a handful but that in reality from a few will rise another SS Skull Division once more. This is exactly what these Justice Department's Nazis of both these criminal nations fully aware. Get out of here. They always want to listen. Well, go away. They always want to listen. Well, where are, where are you? These criminal nations, fully aware, are aiming oh yeah, the SS Coal Division once more. This is exactly what these Justice Department's Nazis of both these criminal nations, fully aware, are aiming at to establish. Any fool understands the impact and the consequences of what is happening. Again, Europe and the rest of the world, please open up your eyes before it's too late again and immediately stop these two criminal peoples. I know what I'm talking about because me and my family are victims of anti-Semitism without even taking part of this specific affiliation. My son Myron has been kidnapped since, eight, since 11 years by the Swiss Nazis of, a, of the jurisdictional authorities in order to blackmail me to function as a spokesman to express these horrible political issues forbidden by law through abolition or rather abrogation of the liberty of expression. Personally I do believe that the Holocaust has taken place and the sad stories of Anne Frank, Primo Levi and Egon Kogon are true. Without second thought I believe German with the Swiss behind the curtains are quite capable of executing such
uh, such atrocities against mankind in a thorough way through industrialized means, Swiss cunningness together with German ruthlessness. I do know them by now, but I won't drop a father's love and hope to see his child again. Yeah. So my name is Sean Ross. I'm South African. And um, by the abolition of the freedom of speech, um, they directly, or rather indirectly, made the most anti-Semitic laws you can imagine again. Because a lot of people say, well, if I say something here against another race or another people and I get into prison for this, then this ethnic minority must have all the control in the world and have a lot of power. So like three, four, five, six moves ahead, this will give automatically an enormous um, growth of uh, young people going into Nazism and this is what we can see today and it's so hidden because of this because it's forbidden to talk and uh, so please somebody do something because it's getting very 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 bad uh, they're not showing it you know like before like in the 30s with their arms up you know and, and in uniforms they don't show it but <laughs> it's very bad it's very bad and this is the this is the center of Nazism you're looking at. So please, Mr. Obama, send the GIs and send the Marines in, and send the SES as well. Who cares? Wins. Not dares, but cares this time. So please, somebody help and somebody do something. They're always listening. Okay, bye-bye for now.